Nowadays, scroll views can be found in almost every other game out there. And mostly, they're used for displaying a list of items, like an inventory. However, sometimes we have selection menus designed on top of scroll views. Here, the selected item is the one that's in the middle of the scroll view. As developers, we can't expect the user to perfectly align the selection in the middle of the scroll view. Instead, we as developers have to make sure that the item is perfectly snapped in position. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add this functionality to your scroll views in Unity. The end result will be as shown in this video. If you're looking for an easier implementation of scroll views, make sure to check out the gallery level selection asset available on the Unity Asset Store. The asset has multiple features like radial scroll views, click to select item, and also several themes to add to your scroll views. The link for gallery level selection is available in the description of the video. Let's get started with the tutorial. I have a simple scene with a UI canvas and a background image. Let's start by adding the scroll view to the scene. Since I don't need scroll bars, I'm just going to delete these. And also, I'm going to disable vertical scrolling. Let's change the size and the background of the scroll view. Let's add an image on top of the scroll view, which will highlight the currently selected item. Make sure you have disabled Raycast target on this highlight image, otherwise it will interfere with the scroll view. Attach a horizontal layout group to the content panel and enable the width component of use child scale. Also, attach a content size fitter to automatically resize the scroll view. Set the horizontal fit to preferred size. And now we can start adding items to the content panel. Scale the items so that they fit inside the highlight box. Next, adjust the padding of the horizontal layout group so that the first item is placed exactly inside the highlight image. And now, we can start adding the icons for the items. I will populate my scroll view with 7 different weapon items. Let's add a rectangle mask on the viewport to make it look nice and smooth on the corners. Finally, let's add a label at the bottom to show the name of the currently selected item and two arrows to point at the selection. And our UI design is now ready. Let's get started with the coding part. Add a new script to the scroll view. I'm going to call this snap to item. In the script, we first need to import the Unity UI library and the Text Mesh Pro library. Add all the required reference variables, a reference for the scroll view, a reference for the rectangle transform of content panel, a reference of the rectangle transform of any one of the items, which will be used to get the width of the items in the scroll view. Also, we need a reference of the horizontal layout group and the name label. Next, create a list of strings to store the names of all the weapons. And now, we can calculate the item nearest to the center of the scroll view. Divide the local position of content panel by the sum of item width and layout group spacing. Since the scroll view moves left, which is the negative x direction, subtract this value from 0. And now we can just round off this value to get the nearest item. Let's test the code we wrote. Back to Unity, assign all the variables. and run the code. 
and as we can see, the correct item number is being calculated. Let's add the code for snapping to the item number we just calculated. We will start the snapping process once the velocity of the scroll view reaches below a fixed value. To snap the scroll view, simply set its new local position. The Y and Z positions will remain the same, while the X position will be calculated by multiplying the item number with the sum of item width and layout group spacing. Again, we need to subtract this value from zero. Now, if we run the code, we can see that the snapping behavior works. However, it is not smooth. To fix this, we will need to loop the position of the content panel to the calculated value. Start by creating a new Boolean variable, which will check if the scroll view is done snapping. We will set this to false if the velocity of the scroll view is higher than the specified value. After we are done snapping, we will set this to true. And now, using the move towards function, we can smoothly move the scroll view to the snapped position. For this, we will need two float variables, one for the current speed and one for the snapping force. We will set the snapping force later in the editor. Add the speed in the move towards function. When the snapping process starts, the speed is going to be zero and we will gradually increase the speed based on the snapping force. And now we can check if the content panel is snapped before setting the boolean to true. Using this boolean, we can stop moving the content panel if it is already snapped. Also, set the velocity of the scroll view to zero during the snapping process. Back to Unity, set the value of the snapping force and run the project. And as we can see, the snapping feature is now working perfectly. The last thing we are going to do is display the current item name. When the velocity of the scroll view is higher than the specified value, set the name label to empty. And when we are snapping to an item, set the label to the name of that item. Back to Unity, fill up the item name list. And let's run the project. Perfect, our scroll view is now ready. That's it for making your scroll view snap to items. If you found this video useful, make sure to like and subscribe.